Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Wynne DeGrassi from Mountain View Equine Hospital, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to give an intramuscular shot to your horse. First off, you need to know what kind of medication you're going to give. Depending upon the medication you give, it's going to depend upon the size of syringe you're going to use as well as the size of needle. Procaine penicillin G is a really thick white substance. So a lot of times you have to use a much bigger syringe because we're given anywhere from 30 to 40 mils at a time. And we're going to need to use a bigger gauge needle, like say the green, which is an 18 gauge needle because it's so thick it's going to be hard to get out with anything smaller. Your other medications that are more liquid, such as Naxel and stuff like that, dexamethasone, you can use a smaller needle, the pink needle, which is a 20 gauge inch and a half needle which is very easy for it to give intramuscularly with those type of medications. There are two medications in particular that I don't ever want to see you give in the muscle. The first is phenylbutazone or bute injectable. This has been known that if it gets outside of the vein, you can only give it IV only. If it gets outside of the vein, it will cause major tissue destruction and sloughing of the skin. The other one is banamine or flunixin megalamine whether you're using regular banamine or the flunixin, both of which have been shown to cause clostridial abscesses if given intramuscularly. So I don't want to see you give this in the muscle either. You can give it IV or you can give it oral, but I don't ever want to see you give it in the muscle because your horse can get a major abscess. And I've seen horses die from a reaction to this. So next, size of syringe is going to depend upon how much you give. A lot of small doses are going to give like a little 3 cc syringe. You can use bigger syringes if you've got to give more medication. And like I said, most vaccines, most regular medications, you're going to use the pink needle, which is a 20 gauge inch and a half needle. However, if you're dealing with a pony or a mini or a foal, they don't have as much muscle layer there. So I use a 1 inch needle, 20 gauge 1 inch needle for those. Again, if you're going to do a thick medication, an 18 gauge inch and a half needle is better to use on those horses. Next, we're going to go out and I'm going to demonstrate actually how to give an intramuscular injection. Okay, when giving an intramuscular injection, one thing I like to do is I like to go ahead at first, right before I do anything, is go ahead and swab the area with alcohol. The reason I do this is mainly to get all the dirt and debris off. It does not sterilize the area. It just makes it cleaner. I then lay, let it air dry, so then that way it's all nice and dry and all the dirt's off. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to give a shot in the middle of a dirt mass because all you're going to do is bring bacteria underneath the skin and cause more problems. The other common thing that people don't seem to understand is that the spine of the horse actually runs very low in the horse's neck. If most people seem to think the spine runs right along here, it actually doesn't. You can actually feel the spine runs low and then up high runs a ligament that holds their head up called the nuchal ligament. Our other border is the front of the shoulder, which is shown here. What I tell people to do is take this triangle, and right in the middle of this triangle is usually where I like to give the intramuscular shot. So you can actually feel the bone and take your palm, usually where you point, that's where you want to give the shot. There's a nice thick muscle mass right here. It's a great place to give a shot to. So to demonstrate, basically what I like to do is once it's dry, I pinch the skin. It kind of acts as a little diversion to the horse, so he kind of knows what's coming, but it's not actually the shot coming, and he doesn't feel it as much. I take the needle, I go right in front of that. There'll be a little ouch. I always pull back looking for blood. If you see blood, switch sites. If I don't see blood, I inject, pull out, and then I let the skin go. If you're using a big amount, like 30 to 40 mils, you're going to want to give that multiple sites. So you might need to switch sides or get, give a one a little bit high and one a little bit lower. And so those are the areas I like to give on the neck. Other places you can give intramuscular shots are underneath in the pectorals. There's good, two good muscle bellies right in here. The downside about giving it here, sometimes they'll get swelling associated with that, and they can actually swell quite a bit. So it's not necessarily the ideal location. Other locations people like to give shots is you'll see people try to give shots up here. This is a no-no. I don't ever want to see you give a shot in the top of the rump. The reason for that is if you get an abscess here, there's nowhere for it to drain except for straight down this way and out the bottom. So don't give a shot at the top of the rump. If you want to give a shot in the back, you want to give a shot 
The horse actually has two nice muscle bellies on each side of the tail head that you want to give it. Down the middle runs a vein and a nerve, so you want to miss that, but usually there's a nice muscle belly right in here that you can give it. Usually what I'll do is I'll stand on the opposite side of where I'm going to give the shot. That way if the horse kicks, you're out of the range. I normally will take my needle off, put just the needle in first, then when I know the horse is being good, then I'll attach my syringe, pull back for blood. If there's no blood, then I'll give the shot. And again, nice best places are right here. That's why if there's a problem and it abscesses, there's a great place for it to drain. So either here or on the other side, either side of the tail head down low is the best place to give it. Those are the best places to give shots in the horse. It all depends upon your shot and what you're going to do with them. Remember, anytime you give a shot, there might be a little neck sore or a little sore where you're going to give it. So make sure you watch when you're going to give it in association with competition because your horse may be sore for the next day or two. If you have any other questions, just give us a call at the clinic. Hope you have a great day.